Welcome to Lithuania, where we'll be looking at two different projects supported by the EU. On the west coast around Klaipeda, we'll meet women who got support from the European Social Fund to start or develop their own businesses. Most of them are now running their own companies. In the capital Vilnius, the police force followed training to prepare for the rapid changes caused by the opening up of the country. Klaipeda is a busy harbour on the Baltic Sea with 200,000 inhabitants. On the outskirts of the town lives Inga Taminskaita with her family. This young woman has revived a traditional technique of crafting homemade wool shoes. A project called Let's Do Business, co-financed by the European Social Fund, is helping her to make a profession out of what was first a hobby. She took part in a five-day seminar to gain basic knowledge on how to run a business. Inga learned about sales and marketing. She's developed a website where her products are advertised and where orders can be placed. Two categories of women were involved in the Let's Do Business project, beginners like Inga Taminskaite and more experienced ones like Lame Mitkoviene. To meet this businesswoman, we drove 100 kilometers north, close to the Latvian border. Laima Mitkunviene runs a company which employs up to 40 workers in different activities related to wood and metalworks. Laima has 16 years of experience in a sector dominated by men. Lima followed an advanced training course co-financed by the European Social Fund, aimed at managers who've already achieved a lot and wish to increase their knowledge of the world of business. Lima looks to the future with confidence. She'd like to export her products abroad, remodel her premises and open a recreational area for tourists. The project manager for Let's Do Business is Dovele Rukaite, a young woman who works for the Women's Issues Information Centre. This active Lithuanian NGO is supported by the European Social Fund. Today, Dovele is visiting a women's business club an informal meeting of women who followed the training and decided to keep in touch, sharing their problems and opportunities. On the way to the capital city of Vilnius, we got stopped by the police. Sorry, I don't speak Lithuanian. Do you speak English? Yeah. Could you show me your driver license, car registration and insurance documents? Okay, passport. Okay. You didn't fasten your seat belts, you know. The traffic patrol asked for our documents in good English. This was the result of a training program co-funded by the European Union through the European Social Fund. Since Lithuania's membership of international organizations such as the EU and NATO, the country has been engaged in much closer cooperation with other countries. It's had to cope with requests to participate in international missions and has been faced with a growing number of visitors. 
workers in the public sector are struggling to keep up with these new developments. To remedy the situation, the project is helping them by providing specialized training. Galiu laisvai bendrauti su angliškai kalbančiai žmonėmis. Atsirado daugiau draugų, pažįstamų. Galiu plačiau naršyti internete, daugiau suprasti. Laisvau naudotis kompiuterių. Iš tikrųjų man labai patiko ir šie kursai buvo labai naudingi. Manau, kad šie kursai yra tikrai labai naudingi. Jie, aišku, padeda ne tik kilti karjeros laiptais, bet ir tobulint save daugiau. Bet kokia informacija gaunama ir žinios gaunamos padeda kilti karjeros laiptais ir siekti kažko daugiau gyvenime. Police officers are not always on the road, so the project also puts emphasis on computer literacy courses. In this small office, a senior officer communicates every day with colleagues in foreign countries, using English and the Internet to speed up administrative procedures. Neringa Kanchinskinje works in the same building. She's the project manager responsible for training. The project was first designed for the 96 employees in the traffic police headquarters. But the program was so successful that in the end 115 received the opportunity to learn English and computing skills. Buvo suorganizuota stažuoti dešimčiai darbuotojų airijoje. Pat buvo išleistas didelės sėkmės sulaukęs leidinys, tai yra atmintinė lietuvių anglų kalbomis, policijos pareigūnams, sulaukęs didelio populiarumo ir kitų kolegų tarpę. Let's give the final word to Mrs. Niole Matskaivichnie from the Ministry of Social Security and Labor. She's responsible for the allocation of ESF funds to these two projects. Sėkminga projektų įgyvendinimo sėkmė lėmė, na, sakyčiau, glaudus, labai glaudus bendradarbiavimas Lietuvos institucijų ir atitinkamų Europos Sąjungos institucijų, atitinkamų taip pat darbuotojų Europos komisijos. Lithuania, with the help of the European Social Fund, is encouraging its people to gain more skills and qualifications. In doing so, Lithuania is increasingly integrating itself as an active member of the European Union.